Welcome back to another Cooligans Take the City. Yeah. We are the Cooligans. That's why our name is in the title. That's right. And we take it back to the city, son. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like we're kicking uh, gentrifiers out. No, <laughs> we take it back to the city. A lot to cover today. We, we you know, we're here. Uh, we're back. It is, uh, it's been a month since we've been on. We, uh, we have a fun segment for you with, uh, with the players at the, uh, at the NYCFC uh, training ground. Bro, we were here- allowed in the training training ground i mean that alone is you know we had to slip a 20 to to the right uh to security guard okay right. <laughs> and he's like dude i don't even work here man thanks for the 20 and i was like what you even doing here? <laughs> uh, but we're here you know it's been a, it's been a a, a a bit of a roller coaster the last few weeks you know uh wild goals uh, uh from tiago just right. uh, running you know uh, uh, uh basically uh hoop to hoop you know what i'm saying <laughs> right? the length of the field you know what i mean <laughs> Uh, we got um, late game heroics, okay. and then we got some late game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, just some late game onomatopoeia, right? right? <laughs> Y'all know what I meant. Because <laughs> Lucas Zellerayan, this man is going to be the end of us. He yeah. is wildly frustrating. Uh, you know, we just know we know the rules is don't foul. Anywhere, I think within a hundred yards of uh, yeah. of the box. <laughs> yep. Is that or the next wall we built? Players on players' shoulders. That's all I'm <laughs> suggesting. We need to change the rules and to allow stacking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that or we need a bunch of Keaton Parks to come out. We need a couple <laughs> Keaton Parks impersonators. He's the tallest dude. Clone Keaton Parks immediately and get him on that wall. Get them all. Get all of them on there. Uh, so uh, we're excited about today's show. Uh, we're obviously we are gonna do. We're, you're gonna see us. Uh, on the training ground, we're going to be joined by Kristen Henniage uh, a little bit later to talk about uh, what's been going on the last couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, a- a- entertaining stuff. I mean, we I mentioned uh, uh, Tiago's goal. Uh, the the last game we did win was against DC United. It's been a, a a few losses. Uh, you know, we're we're taping this before the the match against Montreal, so we don't know the result of that just yet. But man, the uh, two games. That w- I think we just we just should have probably just should have won or at least gotten a, a result out of. Especially after seeing uh, the players train, we have such incredible talent. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you see just the high level, especially when you watch that DC game that never give up attitude. The level of talent that just the Tiago has to just be able to just take it on his own and score. You think to yourself. Dude, we should be the number one team in the league right now. You know I mean, what I mean? You, when you look at the, especially the, the statistics against, uh, in that match against Columbus, I mean, you just look at the numbers. How what we had like twenty shots or something like that. Twenty one no. shots, I believe. Uh, and, twenty one and shots, seven on target. Yeah. And just when you see that, and and, and there was a, um, you know, Anton Tinnerholm was talking to uh, Glenn Crooks in in an interview, and and you and you see the frustration in the players. You see that to him, and he was like, basic. I'm paraphrasing. He's like, Glenn, make this make sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, He's like, like, I don't know, Glenn. You so tell well. me. You know, <laughs> we did everything we're supposed to. We had possession, sixty one percent possession, twenty one shots. I mean, there's only so much you could do, you know? I, Sometimes I, I, it just doesn't go your way. But these are all positive signs. Imagine we were losing and didn't have 21 shots on goal. Imagine we were the ones with six shots on goal. You'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> but this, these are positives. These are things you could build on. Exactly. Just like we're we going to just... stack, you know, uh, Moxie on top of Pete, <laughs> Keaton Parks. We're stacking. We're gonna, we can stack. We can build on these. You know what I mean? <laughs> So uh, look, there definitely a lot to uh, I think a lot to a lot of positives to, to at least to look forward to. We just haven't gotten that that uh, that that lucky break to just get a couple more goals uh, per uh, you know in in those games and uh, and yeah, you just you, you, those daggers uh, from Bro, uh, they uh, free kicks <laughs> they did not feel great. Um, but that's why we're here to lift people's spirits to lift, and now we're we we get the opportunity to lift the players' spirits themselves to go where they work you know Mm -hmm. uh and go to their job and say hey look let me just show you a little bit of how it's done out here a little bit of bounce back right we had a couple tough results why don't we get the cooligans in here (laughs) to show us a few pointers you know what i mean okay bring in the clowns that's what they said (laughs) (laughs) what's good he's like i'm right here (laughs) the heat that that bull put on that net is hit so hard 
We were allowed in wow. to the City Football Academy. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> might be the last time. Uh, <laughs> I've already spoken to the chef. They do not have chips. Uh, what's going on here? Check out my boy Frank. New signing. Okay, new signing. I, new cool again. You over know, here. a little overinflated. Doesn't like to move a little bit. That's my guy right there. We're going to recreate some goals. Yeah, uh, there's some goals that I'm thinking about right now that I would love to uh, recreate. I mean, of course, Jesus Medina just hit him with that. Mm. That wonder goal to the back post. Right, right. We have, uh, maybe some. we could practice some free kicks with Goody. Ooh, that sounds Goody. <laughs> All right, baby, we are here with Goody. We are here with Goody at the That's NY this guy, I don't know if you know that. Yeah. <laughs> we are here at the NYCFC uh, training ground uh, with Goodmander Thorarinson. What? Uh, uh, he said the whole name because wow. I wasn't even attempting it. <laughs> that was well done. Right? Yeah. Wow. You Try. practiced. <laughs> uh, this is an, you know in the Bronx they say like, what's Goody? You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah, what yeah. is it? I don't know the first Icelandic player I mean, to score in MLS. Yeah, That's yeah. what was goody. <laughs> when you're walking through the Bronx, you think everybody's saying your name. The so. big fan was goody. He's like, I'm right here. I don't know why you're asking so many questions. Uh, <laughs> we want to redo one of them, one of those goals from that match that was pretty incredible. Now looking at it, it seems they're going to switch that to an own goal. Oh. And right off the free kick. Who cares? It's now 3-0. Oh, what a fabulous finish this is. Just a beautiful, beautiful strike. That's right, uh, and we're, we'll see if we'll, we'll have uh, Goody uh, recreate it, and then we'll see if the Cooligans can recreate it. Right. Well, put in your bets now. The answer <laughs> is no. Uh, <laughs> you were so. This is a, a, a free kick. Talk to me about what happens in your mind yeah. when you see a free kick. Like uh, it's a little bit more difficult in games because then I have Maxi and Jesus normally standing around. Right, right, right. So, so, so what you're saying, we're at a higher level, <laughs> right? We're better. Is that reason? I figured you guys are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, so we saw that the the wall was placed a little bit so I could bend it around the wall. Right. Were yeah. you surprised? Were you like, yo, you seeing the same? <laughs> kind of. Cause, 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 nah, because honestly, you, you're kind of hoping that the keeper doesn't realize that the wall is a little bit too right. far to the so you right. you gotta go poker face. You can't be like, kinda. oh my god! You're kinda, <laughs> so yeah. like honestly, in this case, I was standing looking at Maxi like, yeah, 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 yeah. You see this what I see? Me. Yeah, this yeah. one's for Iceland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you saw it, am I, is there, like, is there, like, how come one of those joints that you do, like these joints? I like to not think about the wall at all, even though, of course, you see when the wall is misplaced, you try to bend it around the wall. <laughs> and then why don't you show us what, how, how to take a, a free kick, and then, and then Christian will try, will try we'll and try then I will injure myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Also, can we make an NFT out of this guy's thighs? Have you seen quads like this? This is how they drew the Ninja Turtles. The heat that that bull put on that net. If I was a keeper, I'd be like, I don't want to stop that with my hand. You want to give us a chance? No. Uh, yeah, come on, let's go. Where do I place it? Do what you want to do, but like I'm saying, my routine is more going a little bit more. Buddy, if if like, you would do what I want to do, I'd be on a couch right now. Like, I wouldn't be outside sweating. Hey, sorry guys if I hate you. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Right? It went towards the goal. Yeah. <laughs> and there is Tati coming and putting it in. It was a great cross. A great cross. Yeah. Better. Closer. Better. Closer. No. It's really sweet of you. <laughs> okay. See? All right. You see? That made me feel <laughs> so much better. Oh. Hey, yeah. we're in. <laughs> no one was laying. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I just in the wrong direction. I was trying to get underneath it, and I also think I broke my big toenail. So <laughs> this professional player just stared down right Buddy, at me. We've embarrassed ourselves quite a bit. There's really no reason. Everyone realizes we're comedians. <laughs> you came out looking like you were a trainee, and nah, fam. They're like, no, nah, he's. There's no competition. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Wow. Right? Well done. It's a, different, it's a different game, bro. Bienvenidos, estamos aquí con Jesús Medina. Sinceramente, un placer. Vamos a recrear otro gol que hicimos, el otro lo hicimos con Rudy Robinson. Y el nivel de este gol todavía. Sí. Más, más alto que los otros dos. Este nivel no ni lo podemos ver por acá abajo, pero vamos a lo que pasa. Cuando yo lo vi, yo dije en inglés, ese fue wild disrespect. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Now Medina takes the shot. What a goal! Jesus Medina! Uh, pero lo vamos a recrear, entonces Jesús puede explicar lo que pasó y qué pensaste en este momento. Porque te fue de una esquina, sí. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, bueno, la jugada fue un corner porque decidimos jugar rápido con Maxi porque nosotros ya sabíamos que ellos de repente es una jugada que es sencilla pero complicada a la vez en el sentido porque tiene que darse las, las circunstancias de que solamente tiene que ser un jugador de ella y bueno, como nosotros jugamos rápido con Maxi, bueno, yo vengo, agarro y usted estaba parado acá. No, ese era Maxi. Sí. Porque, oh. bueno, yo empiezo desde el corner y bueno, le doy el balón a él. Ah, bueno, vos sos Maxi. Ahí está. Pasa okay. Maxi. Maxi. Y bueno, él recibe. Y yo soy, y viene yo uno. soy uno de los gordos que está mirando juegos. <risa> 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 eh, y bueno, viene el, el defensor y sí. Maxi le ataca. Entonces Maxi agarra y me da el pase al frente. Y él me da el pase perfecto porque... Eso es como... No, así, como... No, no así, no así. <risa> no, igual está bien porque yo si recibo y hago dos toques, pierdo tiempo. Entonces hay que ser rápido. Maxi me dio el balón ya justo, perfecto. Yo agarro, pum, remato como un... Al, como al arco, sí. remato fuerte. Entonces, y, me, y como está adelante, la... usted sabe que claro, puede Claro, eso, eso es lo que te digo. Porque si ellos... Nosotros sabíamos eso que a veces salen con un jugador nomás, pero si salen con dos, la jugada no va a salir. Sí. Y también la circunstancia es que Maxi me da justo para que yo haga el remate rápido, porque si yo agarro, él me da el pie. Yo, lo que yo pienso es, es eso que te digo, rematar al arco y si alguien puede rozar, que roce y que, y que remate al arco. ¿Entendés? Sí, Esa bueno. es una, una que puede pasar. Y la otra es que nadie toque y se vaya al arco, porque es una jugada difícil para el arquero, porque no sabe si salir o quedarse, entonces está ahí. Y, como que no pensó que yo iba a rematar solamente, por eso quedó mirando al cuando, cuando le dio la, a, a la pelota, usted ya sabía que ya iba a entrar. No, yo cuando remate ya veo que va al, al, al ángulo. Ay, tú estás sí. parado ahí. Ahí ve, 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 also, the heat that that bull put on that net. Wasn't that incredible, huh? We are so good. Okay, uh, we... <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. you, probably, you guys probably didn't see that. They must I have cut the... it so you didn't see that, because <laughs> if I you want to watch the... the full where I'm just banging top bins, <laughs> Christian's like, relax, these people, you know, they're professionals. Right, right. You're showing I... up, you got to watch that. It's going to come out on, on uh, the NYCFC uh, YouTube and all their social medias next week, so look out for that. Uh, yes. You got to check it out. It's awesome. I love, I love the instant review. We're like, we're, we're just so good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm shocked at how good I am. You know, sometimes you see yourself on camera and you're like, wow. You know, I, I um, have heard one of the players saying, have we signed Gene yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the voice you're hearing is the gentleman that we have brought in to tell us exactly what's going on with the club. Because as you now know, Chris and I, we're more players. We're not exactly tacticians. You know what yeah, I mean? Yes, yes, yes. We've right? been, up, you know, got a promotion. Right. Yeah. We work with our feet, not our brains. You feel me? So we got to bring in an absolute genius. You heard his voice. You absolutely love him. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend, Christian Henning Edge, everybody. Christian, what's up? I'm good. How, how are you both doing after your training stint? <laughs> Not okay. bad. He's still recovering. We need the physios uh, just to give us a, uh, you know, a couple massages just yeah. so we can get back out there confidently. Quick question: Is everything supposed to hurt? Because <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> when I play, everything hurts. <laughs> Physical, Perfect. mental, soul, the lot. It, it all, it all stings in one way or another. <laughs> Very good. Uh, look, uh, we've had a little bit of a rough run of form, right? It seems like NYCFC is out to have. You know, out to prove something, right? Uh, Ronnie has said it. Tenor Home has said it. What do you think that means, Kristen? Uh, let the fans know what the heck is going on. Yeah, I, I could see the frustration on Anton's face after the game on Saturday against Columbus because, look, the stat sheet tells a story. 21-6 to six in shots, 2-1 uh, on XG. This was a game that NYCFC should have won, according to the data, and I completely agree with that. I thought they had the better of the chances But to his credit, Lucas Zellerian is incredibly good at a dead ball, as we know, unfortunately, all too well. And he was able to produce. So I think what Anton is talking about is we need to go out there and back up the data a little bit. And we need to just push through and get the result. And I think, look, it's very difficult when, as you said, you know, you're not in the greatest of form. But I think if you do focus on the performances, Ronnie's kind of right with that, is that this team isn't getting obliterated when it's losing. It's playing better and actually you're coming away saying, I don't think they deserve to lose that one. I think there's a couple of teams that have come away with results against NYCFC lately that have thought, you know what, 
We did a bit of a smash and grab that one, to be honest, chaps. Let's let's get away from this one as quick as we can because they're doing everything right. It's just that last touch. It's a degree away from success, I think. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, given we have a couple players uh, in the Gold Cup on international duty, and play, you know James Sands not having your captain and not having James Sands, you would think, oh, this is going to be a, a, a team that might struggle without you know their their star players. And that's not what we're seeing at all, right? It is. It is. It's interesting. Maybe it's. It's that those players maybe bring just that little bit of a difference. Who knows? It's hard to exactly say. But the but the fact that we still look really good without some of our top players is a, a, a positive thing that still makes me feel good. But you're not happy to see the results, obviously. Absolutely. I think when you take two defensive starting pieces out like Sean and James, you would expect the defence to suffer. But to their credit, I think Luis has stepped up really well, had a great save in the first half against Columbus. I think Alex Callens came back in and, and gave a bit of strength there. I know he'll be disappointed with the first goal, but overall brought some presence and a bit of physicality to it, which I really liked. And like I say, I think it's just in that final third, it's just getting it to click. There's some new faces in there. I think they're still kind of trying to feel their way around it. In Tiago, you've just got this little self-starter. I, I, the speed of that man, the confidence, the dynamism, it, it's all there for him. I think he's just trying to find the right rhythm for himself because, as you saw, there was one shot that he tried in the first half that kind of skewed wide, but then in the second half, he's a bit more settled and it, it forces a good save out of Eloy Room. So I think that's what we're trying to find at the minute is, can we just all get on that same frequency? Can we all just get on that same wavelength? And that's when things will, will start to go. And I think if you look historically at MLS... Teams like that have won things off the back of that. Teams like Seattle have not really clicked until mid-season and then gone on this run when everything has just come together and gelled together nicely. Which actually brings up a great question. From I know we're missing, like Christian said, we're missing James Sands. We're missing uh, Sean Johnson. Has there anyone that surprised you uh, in their performance in that absence? Is that Who do you think has really stood up? Obviously, we've got you know Tiago, who's done some incredible things, but is there anyone that's really you think like, whoa, they've really made it a point to take sort of take the game by the scruff of their neck? I'm a, a little bit of a sucker for a deep line midfielder, so Nicolas Acevedo has really stood out to me. I've almost renamed my cat Nicolas Catavedo for that reason, um, <laughs> but it's not going to fly in my house. So he, to me, has such a. There's an aggression to his play, but when he has the ball, there's a real beauty to it. And I think for him, he's started to find the balance between the two. There's been a couple of yellow cards earlier in the season where I thought, yeah, I see why you've gone for that, you know, the red card in L.A. But I think as he started to get that momentum with more starts, with more minutes, you're seeing him know when to push and when to pull. And and in the middle of the pitch, that's incredibly important because the midfield is so often where a game is won and lost. And to have someone like him with that quality alongside Keaton, who just can find gaps. I always think of something a Serbian coach said once, that he can see motorways where... Uh, others see dirt roads you know it, it's just that ability to see a gap and play it really quick so I, I think the midfield has, has really impressed me in terms of its ability to control games of late you know I also really love that uh, Keaton Pars uh, got a goal against DC but it was also a headed goal right I'm like he's he's a big man he's a big kid <laughs> mm-hmm. he, should, he should have three or four of those a season <laughs> throw him in the box a couple more times I know he's a midfielder but man uh, it was I was just happy to see him score and in that fashion yeah absolutely uh, you know, I'm led to believe that everything is bigger in Texas so it makes sense that the midfielders are a couple inches taller too <laughs> <laughs> if their license plates are true, then that is also <laughs> what they say. Uh, we've got, uh, obviously, now with the League Cup match, we've got nine games, uh, nine matches over the next month. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how do you think this depth is going to be used? And do we need to call anyone in like the entirety of another club? <laughs> how can we handle this? <laughs> well, I think, you know, if, if we're sore after a training session, these boys are going to be yeah really pushed to the max physically I think look you know this was something that Ronnie touched on really early in the season is that depth is important that's what the team tried to go out and sign with the likes of Chris Gloucester for example Uh, Cody Mizell is is another one just to fill out that goalkeeping trio and I think ultimately that's where you're going to see this come into play because you are going to need to rotate you're going to need to be fair with the minutes in terms of just physical loading It's, it's going to be tough there's no shying away from that but I think in someone like Chris Gloucester I look at Tavon Gray who I think when he's come in has done nothing but boost his stock with the club I think if he can come in and have a couple of great games give Anton a rest that's really what you want and I think one thing that stuck out to me is when I listened to Ronnie talk 
he's always so pleased with how training is. He's always pleased with the level. I think at even one point he said, you know, the level is so high that I feel like it's almost higher than games sometimes in terms of that intensity. So that will serve this team well, I think, in, in terms of their fitness and their ability to recover and recharge. Yeah, well, we got to witness training in person. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, even it was, we were, uh, you know, I don't know, 100 feet away and we could we could sense the intensity. It was yeah. very palatable. It was very, very real. Uh, so uh, the other thing I want to ask you is, uh, uh, let's talk a little bit uh, uh, in more detail about James Sands, his performance uh, so far at the Gold Cup. He's gotten two starts uh, and he, uh, and, and now he's, he's on a national, he's getting national attention. It is uh, probably, long overdue it is lovely to see a lot of people didn't even know really know who he was and now uh the, the world is watching uh what is the uh th that perspective from someone working at the club seeing the analytics the seo everybody talking about james sands the stock is up how are we feeling about it yeah you know it, it's beautiful to see him come on and make his debut after he so eloquently explained what it actually meant to him for the the club website started with the Algeria game all those years ago in, in, I think it was elementary school, he said. That to me was very touching and richly deserved as well because I think, you know what, he's a fantastic hybrid in terms of he can sit in the back line and just marshal things and control the rest of his team if he needs to or he can step into midfield. And that's something I've talked to him about is, is that aggression in his game because I think he has added that. You know, he looks ripped for want of a better word he looks in tremendous shape and I think you're seeing that play out in his game so yeah it's nice to see him, him get that um, that you know uh, acknowledgement for his ability and everything it's also amused me immensely how much all of the New York fans have clapped back and said well we've known this for years it feels like a very <laughs> New York response yeah. that all we've been telling you yeah. for years that this guy is very good and, and he is and I think you know he's a tremendous asset to the, the national team and yeah if, if this team I think will win the Gold Cup James will probably have a big say in that Nice. Well, hopefully that final comes really quickly because we could use him back in our squad. <laughs> uh, let's move everything up. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Kristen Henniage, everybody. Clap your hands one more time. The great Kristen Henniage. Thanks so much, buddy. Thanks so much for having me, guys. All right. Thank you again, Kristen Henniage, for joining us. And a reminder, everybody, NYCFC is back at Yankee Stadium July 25th for another home match against Orlando City. Go check that out. Uh, you can watch at 6 p.m. At uh, 6 p.m., that's right. Yeah. Nice, nice reasonable hour. Okay. Right? You can still go to dinner after that, you know? <laughs> Celebrate the win. A little drunk. Let's go. Uh, so it's going to be a fun game. Uh, make sure you can watch uh, on Yes Network, uh, ESPN Plus, if you are not in the in New York City area. Uh, and make sure that uh, you can listen on the radio as well, nycfc.com slash radio. So, uh, all right, we'll hope for another win. Turn things around. Uh, make sure to, to stay locked in to NYCFC's socials uh, if you want to see those full segments of us at the training ground with the players. Uh, so those are going to be really, really fun. So uh, another fun show, Cooligans Take the City. My name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerrero. All right, we'll see you real soon. Taking the city again. All right.